Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to install train mods when it has a DFF and TXD file or files. So let's begin. Here's mine up the top, and as you can see, the DFF and TXD. Here's the default what it would look like. But if you look in te textures, what I've seen, I think it's an alternative. If you want to change the color of the train, if you want it to look a different way. Let me show you what I mean. So in the textures file, you've got train, blue, metro. And you have another TXD file, but if you have this picture, it's blue. And you got red, it looks red with another txt file, so I'm pretty sure if you want to change it uh, if you don't want the original you can have a colored one plus a cp uh, it's orange so that's what I'm getting at uh, the db doesn't really have or the italian doesn't have a picture so I don't really know what they are so let's begin. Uh, it says Freybox and Freybox uh, TXD. I think I want to change Streak. I have. I renamed them to Streak and Streak C because Freycar, I have uh, no idea what that train would look like. I know the Streak and Streak C. I've done. I've uh, imported one. A DFF and it was successful, so I know what that train would look like uh, originally, and then I know what it would change into. So I'd see it more often than a Freycar. I have I have no idea what that is, but the Streak C I've done that before, so I just wanted to rename it, and I also copied it, so I have two DFFs and two Streaks, uh, TXD, like this. And yeah, and I'll also change this as well. Uh, copy, paste here, and rename it. I have it, both txt files, and I renamed them. So yeah, I'll show you the alternative color, the tr blue type, to show you that it in fact is an alternative if you don't want the original you want to change up the colors of the train you can so I'll leave this in the description if you want this mod okay let's begin with GDA IMG tool open let's choose Android data oops double clicked San Andreas files TextDB and GDA3.IMG. Let's write streak and replace uh, SD train and streak there and streak C streak C yeah. easy. Now let's move on with the txt tool. We're at the txt.txt file from archives, and here we have it. Import both of them. So, override. Don't know what to do with the bottom ones, but yeah, that's fine. And yeah, let's import them. There we go, it is now done. Okay, so let's start the game now. GDA San Andreas, and let's see if the train has changed. Okay, guys, here we have the train. It looks like GDA San Andreas. Oh, sorry, GDA 3. Looks a bit glitched on the interior, but you know, it still works on the outside at least, so that's cool.
there okay so it looks cool with the GTA 3 if you want to look like the old way but you know I do like the GTA 4 because it's more high quality and everyone likes that the quality of the detail the detail of a vehicle when it looks like yeah but yeah if I were to be inside I think it would I would be able to see it I don't know as you can see that but when I look through the window it doesn't look so good so yeah I believe it has an interior but when you look through and try to see the interior through the glass it doesn't really look good anyways yeah that's it it still worked nonetheless and I'll show you the alternative uh, like color red. for the other this one like the blue type okay let's start um, from TXD archives let's go to textures and train blue metro and we'll import them and obviously we already got old files of them all the same but different color so we'll overwrite them and yeah so it will still work and let's press ok and let it just do its thing there we go results are in old text so that's a good sign and let's start San Andreas once again and you'll see that it's an alternative color Alright guys, so as you can see, it is now blue, instead of its other color. And as you can see, it has the interior of like GTA 3, because it says head radio, and flash, liberty tree, which is cool. Let me try and see the interior. And as you can see, there is indeed an interior. But through the glass, you cannot really see it. I don't know, it's some sort of glitch with the glass in this. Anyways, it is working. You got an interior. There's nothing to worry about. There we go. So that's how you install it with TXD and DFF files. And, uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this one. Hopefully it helped. And if you learned something cool... Um, yeah, see you in the next ones, uh, uh, yeah, so be prepared for them, bye.